So tell me what you mean by data science. Well, we're taking a big picture here. The term big data has been used a lot, and we've been big proponents of that. But we think really people mean data science as this kind of encompassing way of looking at it. Data management is part of data science. If you go down the data management side, it's collecting data, it's organizing it, parsing it, all the things to make the data usable. On the other side of the equation is insight. You want to visualize it. You need machine learning, uh, natural language processing, advanced statistics, crowdsourcing may be part of it. All the things that you need to make sense of the data. Tying the two things together, together is the culture. Um, all the analysis in the world doesn't make sense if no one buys into it or if people aren't uh, kind of versed in what does it mean. Uh, so knowing how data fits into the organization and kind of promoting its use in its proper place, not as black boxes that make all your decisions. It's not like a, a server manager, but more like it's influencing and uh, working with the people who are making decisions and trying to understand what's going on. In essence, it's storytelling. You're trying to get the data, make a story out of it, and use that to express to an organization what might be going on or what they should maybe do uh, with it. There's another part of this, too, that takes both sides into the data science, and that's the notion of real-time uh, applications. There's a lot more data now. You can take kind of profiles of things that are going on, combine that with real-time things that are going on, and make recommendations or make suggestions and things like that. So, or provide operational work with these data centers with 100,000 servers in them. Things are always going to be going wrong. Uh, and we think more and more of these kind of data science principles are going to be used to manage those, those data centers. So, you know, you're here with science, there are scientists. We've talked before a bit about data scientists. Do you see all of data science concentrated in one particular kind of scientist, or is this sort of broader thing in terms of, you know, the roles of people in, engaged in data science? Yeah, we definitely think it's broader. And actually what we really advocate is that people start going between the disciplines. So that if you're on the data side, you should learn something about the insight side and from the insight the other way around. And both of you should be contributing to the, uh, the culture, you know, so that you're not like an isolated silo, but that you're part of the decision making. And one of the ways that you can maybe do that, and this is where the, the science goes back into the organization, the culture, is that we call it supply side analytics. Is that you've got, say, an organization of data scientists, people who are into the data, why not let them do their own analysis? They might be a rare nexus of inputs, and they might be able to pull something out that no one else in the organization would really even know to look at. But if you don't give them the power to do that or the uh, kind of privilege of doing that, you won't be able to take advantage of that um, kind of integrated skill. So we think all around, the more you integrate, you get a couple of benefits. No waiting for the next person to do something, greater insight to what the other people are doing. And if you're on a project, you can go to the expert. You can work in a more XP, extreme programming fashion, where two people are working something and you get better uh, kind of knowledge transfer as well. So finally, what do you think, um, you know, on ma is management buying into this? How does an organization as a whole, you know, I understand what you're saying at the grassroots level, and that's ideal, but how does that come from the top? working the top down. We have definitely heard from top down people that they want more of this. They don't like the silos. We think the way to do it is with ink blots. Think about you're going to take small teams, you're going to have them integrated, and then they can start setting a pace. So we think that's probably the best way to break the silos down is that the DBAs aren't under IT and the analysts aren't under a marketing department. They're put together if that's the, the kind of data bottleneck. So by creating smallish integrated teams, you start setting the precedence and the example of what is important and that integration works. Plus, that is a built-in training system, right? Because now everyone is going to be learning about the system by, by working together on the project. The kind of benefits of the extreme programming paradigm. I see. Thank you.